Hey there, everybody. It's now 10.34 in the morning, and I just discovered something totally awesome, so I had to make a tutorial on it. Okay, two things you're going to need to do this. One, a sheet of white paper or something along the lines of white or solid color that you can hold up in front of yourself and then take a picture. Second thing you're going to need is a camera, and the third thing, some type of photo editing software. So I'm just going to simply use Photo Booth for this. Okay, the camera is not connected because I'm using it with ScreenFlow and Skype. John's over there. He's watching me. Okay. Say hi, yes, John. Yes. Uh, Say hi. I said hi. Okay. Yeah. Go back on mute now. There we are. Okay, you're going to want a solid white background. And now we're going to pop our head out. Just because we're totally awesome like that, but actually I'm going to retake this picture. You need light behind me. You gotta have sufficient lighting when you're doing stuff like this. Enter. Yeah, something along the lines of that, but you know, you can look cool. You don't have to be all professional like. Okay. Now, what you're gonna do. You know what? I'm going to paste a link in the description to where you're going to go. Okay? That's it. We're going to do that. Okay, so now, open up Photoshop. Photoshop. CS4, extended edition. Drag your little picture into Photoshop. And then drag the file you're going to download into Photoshop, which serves as your background. Now, in Photoshop, you're going to use the Magnetic Lasso tool you're going to cut yourself out. But actually, I'm going to zoom in because I want this really, really well done. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now once you got it selected, you're going to right click, click Select Inverse, so it's selecting the outside. You're going to make sure your layer is unlocked, drag the lock to the trash can, and hit Delete. Now, everything but you will be deleted, but I actually seem to have. Someone failed somehow. Here. Yeah, I chopped off half you the neck. You fail. You're going to click the plus symbol, or hold down shift, or minus since we're in inverse mode. And you're going to reselect your skin body part. There we go. That should work better now. Delete. Don't I? Am I? Is the hoodie visible? Oh, yeah. Oops. Keep, keep minusing. That looks good. Much better. And now since that kind of just looks strange, you can, you know, always modify. I'll just erase some of the hoodie here. I hate my haircut. They screwed up. Bad. John agrees. They screwed up on countless occasions. Yeah, they have. I'm just not one who, I guess, is supposed to get a haircut. I think I'm supposed to be like a Jew. You know, just let it grow out. No, wait, or is that Italian? I can't remember. Anyways, so now, <laughs> once you've done modified, you know, facial areas, you actually have to take out the board as well. So you can select below your fingers or whatever, hit delete, and then come up here and use your magnetic lasso again. Zoom in, and you're just going to select everywhere around your fingers. And do this as professional as possible, because, hey, your friends might judge you. And we certainly don't want your friends to judge you. Because, you know, judging in a bad way. Because that sucks. And you can see it almost looks as if I am holding something, even though I'm not. So that's always a good sign. So now you're just going to select your main part here. Command C or Control C. Go to this layer. Control V. Now you'll see you're humongous. So right click, free transform, hold down shift, and make yourself smaller. There we go. Keep making yourself smaller. And then. You make yourself smaller. Shut up, John. And then, you know, make yourself fit. And you'll stay pixelated just until you hit enter. But warning, it will be low quality. So hey, it looks like I'm popping out. Enter. So you're going to actually stay pixelated, but you got to take this into proportion that that's how big the Facebook picture will be. So it actually looks pretty dang good. Yeah. Yeah. 
everything looks fine there. Maybe we can round off the fingers a bit here. Take your eraser tool and just, you know, mess around a bit. Now, Control shift s or command shift s save as save that to your desktop as like what you need to because I've already made two others okay there it goes right here we'll quit this program now don't save don't save and now we have a total of all these three and one as well create a pile make pile there we go title this pile Thanks. Look. There we go. Make you grow. You interact with those other piles. Ah. Toss you. Oh, oh we, we didn't want that. Ah. <laughs> That's cool. Break. Clean up. Make pile. I love doing that. Okay. I'm done. Um, so now, what you're going to do is you're going to go to Facebook, and I'm sure if you have Facebook, you know how to set a profile picture. Oh, that looks so cool. Change picture. Upload a picture. Choose file. And I'm going to upload that one because I like it. I like it a lot. <clears throat> what you need, number two. There we go. Choose. It's going to upload, and it's going to finish. This is John, by the way. They can see you now. They can? Yeah. I'm scared. You should be. Oh, you should watch my videos, How to Apple. Yes, this is this is John from How to Apple. We'll go to his uh, channel right now. This is the All Out shout out right now. Because we're totally Oh, damn. Out. Say it again. Oh, damn. Oh, damn, yeah. YouTube. How to A-P-P-L-E. How to Apple. This is John. This is John. He made he made this awesome time lapse using that Gawker application. I, I made I think it was like four or five time lapses in that. I'm John Lasseter, how to Apple today. I'm gonna be He was still learning about quality at that time. Shut up. So go, you know, subscribe to John, because he, he he could he could he could use you. And now since Facebook's been glitching lately, you just have to wait. I'll come back once it's fixed. And thus we have our end result here. So that is what your profile picture will look like. And you'll notice the top of my head's cut off because that's just how I took the picture. But I've got three other photos in my profile pictures here. One, two, and three. I was on the phone with John there. Eh, tell me which one you like best. One, two, or three. Three, two, or one. You tell me. Yeah. And of course, you know, on this YouTube video, post a link to your page so we can all see your awesome profile picture. Or if you have privacy issues, don't. It's up to you. You know, I really have Or no video response. Or video response showing, yes. Video responses are very welcome. All right, thank you for you guys' time, and I hope to see results that you guys have created. Peace, and have a good day.